Today we're going to talk about the two irrefutable, well, one of the two irrefutable facts about glass. One of them is, of course, of course, the coefficient of expansion. But today we're talking about the fact that glass always wants to be a quarter of an inch thick. Now this is a function of the surface tension of hot glass. It, if you fuse it hot enough and long enough, it will eventually become a circle, as you see here with these little drops. And as you see, they're all about the same height. They're all about a quarter of an inch thick. And that is because that's what glass wants to do. You can fight it all you want, but it's still going to happen. As you can see from this piece right here, which is uh, kind of neat looking in and of itself, but not what the artist intended, you can see these holes here. These are between different pieces of glass that didn't fuse together because as they started to get hot, there wasn't a quarter of an inch of glass there, so the glass started to pull together to make a quarter of an inch. So as you're planning your designs, you want to make sure you take that into account. Now you say to yourself, well, I've seen pieces of glass that are thicker than a quarter of an inch. How did they do that? Well, there's any number of ways that you can achieve that, usually using some type of a mold, like these molds here. These are ceramic molds made for casting. Or this is a fiber board cut out to make a mold. It can be filled with glass. Or over here you see a dam set up, and that's using uh, ceramic dams, high temperature ceramic dams lined with fiber felt and held together with bricks. Fill that gap with glass and you can make as thick a bar of glass as you want. Thank you.